That means we're live. Facebook, 93.5 FM listeners, good morning to you. It is 9.33 on Tuesday, the 1st of September, 2020. I cannot believe the summer came and the summer went. The summer winds. I can't believe it. But listen, we're here. We're here to give you some information this morning as we do every morning live on the radio on 93.5 FM, streaming live also to Facebook and our Instagram pages. My name is Adam Handler. I am your case handler, and we are Pollock Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, attorneys here downtown Manhattan, a full service law firm. I personally handle the personal injury cases at the firm. Uh, my partner, uh, Conrad, the maestro Pollock, handles the immigration cases. And uh, we have a, a special guest today. We have my partner, Fred DeSico. We call him the closer. He is the partner in charge of the transactional, the real estate in the estate department here at the firm, here to answer your questions for 100% free over the phone, let you know exactly what we do here. Uh, let me start by giving our phone number out because that's really the only way you will be connected to us and really the only way we will know you exist. We don't hang out at the emergency rooms. We don't hang out at Federal Plaza. Um, we don't hang out at the courthouses saying, do you need a lawyer? Uh, we are way too busy to do that because many other people before you have saved that number and have used that number. Our phone number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And you are now officially cruising with the case handler, a show by attorneys for you to give information for free, giving back to the community that's embraced us for so many years by answering your legal questions. You got a legal question, you got a legal problem, we got a legal answer, and we got a legal solution. All you have to do again is call that number, 844-PPID-LAW. What does PPID stand for? PPID stands for Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico, and is another way for me to ask Squeeze how much he values what we do at the firm, because I could say, hey, Squeeze, you down with PPID? Come on, Adam, you know me. Obviously, I'm down with PBID. <laughs> All right, I see Fred found that funny. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's Adam Handler, top man on the station when it comes to being a personal injury attorney, most celebrated attorney on the station. I am David Squeeze Anarchy. I 100% endorse Adam Handler. Love what he has been doing for a people. So Caribbeans, non-Caribbeans, if you ever get hurt in an accident, you need one man, one chance. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, that is the case handler. <laughs> Starting to act like Eminem here now, all right? <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, you know, um, this is gonna be a great show today because I've got questions because Fred's, Fred's here. Fred DeSico happens to be a partner at the firm, Paula Pollock, Isaac and DeSico, as Adam noted. I'm very happy that he's is, is on this show because there's so much going on out there in business and real estate and much more that I need to understand. And I've got questions for him, for Adam Handler, if he does not give me a true success story today, I'm going to kick his ass. I said it. <laughs> okay, I, I said it. I was bold with it. He probably could beat me up anyway. I think we're about the same height. You know, he probably could beat me up. You know? Yeah, but, but, but I got the age factor, man. You know, how old are you now? 64? <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that. Well, Fred <laughs> is, so don't, let's go easy on nowhere him. Nowhere near that. He added like over a decade, you know, to my age. More than a decade. Anyway, um, so ladies and gentlemen, this show right now today, normally, of course, you hear immigration, personal injury, and, you know, I'm more, but today we're going to be focusing on personal injury. And um, what would you call it, Fred? Real estate law, business law? What, what would you call it? Look, I'm here to handle all aspects of business law, including real estate, mm -hmm. including contracts, starting mm -hmm. up a business. Mm -hmm. who want to lease your space mm -hmm. on the avenue for your business or you own your building and your tenants either aren't paying the rent or you want to have someone help you renegotiate the lease. Mm -hmm. We handle uh, estate matters. We handle employment matters. Um, if your um, company doesn't do right by you and you have an employment contract, or if you're joining a company and they give you an employment contract, you need someone to review it and negotiate it and make sure it's fair. So any contract, I'm your guy. 
anything dealing with real estate or business, I'm your guy. And in these troubling times, unfortunately, people need my expertise more than ever because um, people are, are, are hurting out there. And um, it's across the board, landlords, tenants, small business people, people who started businesses, save money to open up a bakery or a, a small uh, grocery store or a, 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 a person who owns a two family house and needs that rent to pay the mortgage. All of so many people that I've interact with, interacted with in my 36 years as a lawyer here in New York, so many of them are in need of help. And we try, we try the best we can. I've got relationships with people where now I'm helping their children mm -hmm. because I know the family for decades. And all I could do is tell each and every one of you that I will do my best to help you and your family during these difficult times. And we know what we're doing. We have the staff to handle your problems. You know, basically squeeze, we're here, not only in, in good times when people are out buying their first house and, and, and their business is a success. And we've had many, many of our clients have that experience. We're also here in the tough times to, to, hold, to hold on and help you hold on. So and let's get down to business then, Fred. I'm gonna interrupt you. Let's get down to business, because that's me, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, I've got Fred DeSico, one of the partners at Pollock, Pollock, Isaac and DeSico, and I wanna to speak to him about some real estate questions and issues today, quickly. Now, Adam, stand by, because I need a true success story. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's, I, let's hear what Freddie's gotta say, yeah. the closer. Yeah, yeah, Adam Handley happens to be the personal injury attorney. We'll get to him in a minute. Now. Fred, I was, I was talking to you about a situation. Um, I have, a, I have a, a two family property, all right? And you know, the, the tenants of the property that was on the lease actually moved out of the property and left an adult in the property. That's, that, that's one, okay? Um, the, the adult that's left in that property um, has not paid any rent, that's one. Two, the original individuals who leased the property and left that person in it turned off the Con Ed but it was not physically turned off. So obviously the property, um, the, the Connet bill is now, I got to take care of it, all right? Because it's left on. Now, what's my recourse with all of this? The legal side on the Con Ed side, do I have to take care of that bill now? Or does the person in the property? Um, and also, what's my recourse and not being paid rent and now this person doesn't want to move out of the property. Okay. They're just literally squatting there and not taking care of either the utility bill or paying the rent or wanting to get out. Okay. Let's, um, let's take it one by one because you have a number of issues. You have a yeah, collection. I know, and, I, and I know many people out there have this problem right now, you know, so, you know, let, let's, let's hear how you handle this. Look, the governor has extended the moratorium on evictions. Right. And there are a few exceptions and we're going to talk about those where a landlord could have an eviction even with the moratorium, but put those cases aside. And I'm going to say this, the governor has not extended any relief for the ultimate obligation to pay rent. So while you're going to have a challenge evicting the daughter, even though under normal circumstances, you would be able to go immediately because the lease is over and you don't have a lease with her. The eviction portion, unless you fit into a few exceptions, you may have to wait until October 1 in New York City. Mm -hmm. September 20th, as per Governor Cuomo, and October 1st for the head administrative judge in New York City. But the mother is still responsible for the rent. Now, I don't know if you know where the mother moved to. Sometimes landlords have to do a little investigating. You can see what the forwarding address might be at the post office. You might see if, if, if the utility company will tell you whether that person has opened up another account. Um, and ultimately, the mother, the person who is on the lease is responsible for her immediate family member who doesn't leave. Now, you can also collect from the immediate family member use and occupancy. 
What that means is even without a lease, they're responsible for the value of the space they're occupying. So I don't know much about mom here, but if mom works for the city or works for a company or is otherwise employed or will be employed because you, can, you don't have to collect immediately, you can ultimately collect from that person. You can garnish their salary. You can collect 10% of their salary every month until you get your money back. If you're like most people, the most important thing right now is getting the place empty. Precisely. Getting rid of her. You can start with the notices you need to commence an eviction in New York. And, and let's face it, New York City is makes it hard on landlords to evict. But you'll send the notices, You'll demand use and occupancy and you'll demand that she vacates. And then you need to be ready on October 2nd to serve the eviction papers. Now, I'm going to tell it like it is. There are six months worth of evictions that have piled up because, because they've all been on moratorium. And unfortunately, many of our fellow citizens don't have the wherewithal to pay the rent. So there are going to be a lot of eviction cases and you're going to be one in line squeeze. So right. ultimately, ultimately you need to make sure you have a lawyer who knows what he's doing, who can navigate the system because the, the procedure is, has been delayed by the governor and the legislature. I can't do much about that. Gotcha. What about the utility portion of it? Well, I would reach out to Con Ed and say that, um, you know, that the responsibility still lies with that tenant and it shouldn't be your bill because utilities are not liens on the property. They're personal obligations. Gotcha. Now, what may happen, however, is they may shut off the electricity. Right. And then, you know, as a landlord, once the apartment is empty, you want to show it, you want, you know, you may need at that point to put it in your name temporarily. Let but me see should, a question, Fred. They should not have the ability to stop the, the obligation to pay rent just by calling up and saying, give me a final bill. It doesn't can, work that way. Can Squeeze shut off the power? Can Squeeze say, shut it down? And then maybe that that drives them out? Squeeze can say, it's not my obligation and it'll eventually be shut by, by Con Ed. I would not recommend that a landlord takes their own action and shuts the the electricity. Right. That could the, be construed right. as harassment. Even though this daughter is holding over under New York law, she does have rights in a residential unit. So no, I would just say to the Con Ed, this is not my bill. I still have a tenant in the space. It's the same tenant. You Maybe the tenant asked for a final reading, but that doesn't relieve the tenant of the Con Ed obligation and have Con Ed collect from the tenant. And ultimately, if the tenant doesn't pay, Con Ed is probably going to shut off the, the service. But you're not going to shut off the service. Con Ed's going to shut off the service. Got you. Well said, well put. Fred DeSico speaking on real estate. Now, if anyone out there, and, and before I give out the phone number, Fred, the situation is this. I think I'm a fair individual. The situation is that the, the tenant gave notice that they're leaving the premises and then change their mind at the end, which is what caused the problem. I don't even care so much about the money. It, you know, it's just that there were other arrangements made for this situation. But anyway, I'm very happy that you cleared that up. If there's anyone out there with any kind of real estate issues, tenant, you know, you're closing, all of that, you need to call Fred now. Call him and he will call you back. He will give you a 100% free consultation. The number is 844 774 Three five two nine. Call him right now. He's a very, 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 very busy man. Sound like Police Academy. Okay. 844-774-3529. Once again, if you've got any real estate issues, any real estate questions or concerns in, in reference to real estate law, all right, maybe a tenant situation, or maybe a landlord, landlord tenant situation rather, call this number now. 844-774-3529. Three five two nine, and let me go on record, Fred. I am hiring you. All right, eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this show today is on personal injury, and of course, business law. Fred DeSico is a partner at the firm. If you have questions in reference to business law, call him up. Maybe you're opening up a business. Maybe you you want to get a lease. 
you know, whatever it is, do not do it without yeah, the attorney. That's what I was going to add, you know, where I think Fred really excels is sage advice with respect to business matters. You know, say you and your friend are looking to uh, enter into an enterprise. You know, it's, it shouldn't be on a handshake, especially these days. Um, you know, there's just too many uh, ways, to, you know, to get caught up. You know, people open a, a business credit card or get a line of credit. You know, who gets stuck with that? Who has to deal with that? Um, and what happens, of course, when things don't go the way you want it to? You know, Fred's good at not just advising you at how to make things work, but Fred's excellent at making sure that you understand what happens when things go wrong. Um, and that's kind of what he said earlier in the show. So anybody with a business matter, I mean, I can let Fred expound a little bit more on this. You know, that's really, he's got a keen sense of how businesses should work and more importantly, how partnerships should work. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate it because you, you're raising something that is becoming more and more upfront and center and it will over the next year or two. And the situation is a lot of small businesses are hurting because of the pandemic. So a lot of business owners are reaching out to friends, to family, to acquaintances, to even competitors and offering them to come in to the business. Come in, I need a cash infusion, be my 50% partner in my bakery or my grocery store or my laundry mat. And people see an opportunity to be an owner of a business and they give the money and they don't investigate the financial position of this company you've been involved in. That company could owe back taxes to the government. That company can have tax liens. That company could be behind in the payment of creditors. Again, I'm not suggesting this is the case, but to walk into a business without having a lawyer do a full investigation of what it is you're, you're getting into or you're becoming a partner of is a dangerous move. You must have an attorney. I'm, gonna, I'm going to give you one simple statement. Going in business with someone is like a marriage. You need to know a little bit about your partner before you get married. It's a lot easier to walk into the little chapel and say, I do, than it is to split up. It's a no Vegas move. Right? No Vegas. Mm -hmm. Easy to go to Vegas. It's harder to, uh, to um, you know, end the ties. So um, no, I'm not suggesting people should not go into business. This is America. This is, this is how the community is built by small businesses up and down the avenue. Uh, all of our friends and families doing what they can to move what they into what they want to do to own to own that's what people want but again you have to be careful you have to be careful with the biggest decision in your life you must have a professional you must have someone who's going to look you in the eye and say i know you want this deal but think twice we have problem a problem b problem c maybe from there you renegotiate the price you change the terms of the deal but you need to know everything about the deal you're going into and you need right next to you, right next to you, you, you need what I'll call an angel guardian. You need someone who's going to look out for you. And last point, it can't be a broker who introduces you. Why? Because as good as the brokers are, as friendly as they are, maybe you have a relationship, but the brokers make a large commission on bringing people together, buyers and sellers, landlords and tenants, business buyers and sellers. And, um, and Fred, I, and I wanna say to everyone that's listening out there, and listen to me very, very carefully. What Fred has noted and is talking about is extremely serious. I have personally lost $90,000 because I thought I was smart enough. I read a contract and it was, you know, I, I've got a, a solid education. I read the contract, went through it, signed the document. And 10 years later, I owe $90,000, okay, of a space I got out of. And I never had to if I had gone to see someone like Fred DeSico. So it's very, 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 very important that people listen to what Fred is saying, call him up. You're getting into any kind of business dealings. At least call him and get a consultation. 
all right? And then take it from there. It's very serious. And I ended up having to pay that 90 grand. So people, reach out to PPID, reach out to Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and yes, Fred DeSico. Call him now. Every single person thinking about business, call him right now or in business or you need to understand more about what's going on with your business and the contracts that you're going in or you are in, even real estate, call him. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I consider myself to be a very smart person, but certain areas are just not my areas. Okay, business law is Fred's area. All right, just like how personal injury is Adam's area. So Adam, I'll segue into you and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more with Fred. Absolutely, listen, today is Tuesday and that means it's Testimonial Tuesday. What's Testimonial Tuesday? Well, it's the way we you know, project what we do here at the firm on social media. Um, let me give that number real quick because uh, we haven't given it in a little while. And again, our number is 844-774-3529, 844-774-3529. Three five two nine. Just call, hang up. You'll save the number later when you can, and you'll be logged in our system as well, so we know you're out there. Um, but I can't stress to you enough how important it is to have our number saved in your phone. If God forbid you're ever in an accident, or you have any questions regarding, you know, business law matters, real estate matters, or of course immigration. You know, we haven't really talked too much about that today, but you know, a huge portion. Um, of, of our business here at the firm is immigration. And we are, of course, giving those 100% free phone consultations um, with any immigration question you may have. But today is Testimonial Tuesday, and let's get to it real quick. Um, this was a wonderful case that we were able to settle uh, during uh, really not even the pandemic because we're still in it, but the quarantine. Uh, we were all locked in our homes at the time, and we were able to get a $50,000 settlement for our client, which was the maximum amount we could have gotten from her. Uh, I mean, look at this car. And, and just a perfect example of you never know when disaster is going to strike. I just said to you, save our number because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, Olivia never in a million years would have thought that she would have been driving uh, and, and hit by a school bus, um, none, none, nonetheless. Uh, and look at the damage that it did to her car. You know, very, very serious rear end accident. Mm -hmm. um, believe it or not, the school bus only had $25,000 of insurance, which it sounds ridiculous to me, but it was, uh, you know, not operating uh, as a school vehicle. School bus with only $25,000 worth of insurance? Yeah, can you imagine? We'll talk about that in a second. But, you know, we got her to the full 50000 and I'll explain to you how we did that. But if you would, wouldn't would mind uh, reading that quote for me, I would be very much appreciative. Adam has a good reputation and is very welcoming. The case went fast and I'm satisfied with what I got. It worked out very well for me. Olivia from Brooklyn, 50,000 US dollars. Yeah. Yep. Right? So she was actually a, a city employee. She worked, I believe, for the Department of Transportation. And she's rear-ended by the school bus that's not operating as a school bus at the time. I, I Again, I, I don't understand how this is possible. But yes, the school bus had a $25,000 insurance policy. Now, it was an interesting insurance policy because it was 25,000 per person and it covered 10 people. So it was a 25,000 per person, 250,000 per accident insurance policy. And we got her the full amount uh, from that bus. Uh, and then we were able to go after her own personal insurance because she had that supplemental uh, insurance, the underinsured motorist coverage, which we talk about all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, check your insurance coverage. If some bozo with a minimum insurance policy or no insurance at all causes an accident and causes you an injury, you may be limited to that amount only if you don't have that supplemental insurance. I can't express to you enough how important it is to make sure that you have that additional coverage on your vehicle. And as you can see here, we got 50,000, which was 25,000 from the vehicle that struck her and another 25,000 from her own insurance for a maximum of 50,000. So maximum amount as quickly as possible. That's the best way we can judge our success. The most amount as quickly as possible. And that's what how we do it. What should they ask for an insurance company when they're going for that supplement? What should they say? say that they should just call and say, what is my SUM coverage? Supplemental 
under or uninsured motorist coverage. Okay. It's only a few dollars more. Um, people say, oh, I want cheaper insurance because it's a lower premium, but believe it or not, it's only a few dollars more to have excellent coverage. For example, I personally have a $250,000 supplemental insurance that if some, like I said, some jerk with 15,000 or 25,000 hits me, I know I'll be covered to at least 250,000. And, and that's just what we do here. We leave no stone unturned. We don't leave any money on the table. We go for the maximum award because we understand you got one chance and one chance only to get it right. And that's why we say one chance, one choice. I'm your case handler. We're Pollock, Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. Our number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Don't take my word for it. Don't take Fred's word for it. Don't take Squeeze's word for it. Take the words of the, of the clients that have come before you that know the excellent work we do here at the firm, that know that we strive for the best because we're going to treat your case like it's our most important case. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that's the voice of Adam Handler, the man who runs the personal injury department at PPID. Of course, if you get hurt in an accident, you will need his number, 844-PPID-LAW. You also heard from Fred DeSico, the man who handles business law at the firm. If you need business uh, transactions reviewed, you need to reach out to him. And that's 844-774-3529. We're going to the top of the hour. You can continue listening to us on Facebook. It's 10 o'clock. There you go. All right, so let's continue here, gentlemen, and um, everyone watching Facebook, I love the uh, views, all right, and what's going on. Please uh, do us a favor and share, ladies and gentlemen, just share what it is that you're watching on Facebook right now. We do appreciate you actually um, participating today. Um, yes, um, do remember that, yes, we still can help you where immigration is concerned. We did not speak much about it today but do remember that you can call 844-774-3529, get a free phone consultation, and then after that, you hire the attorneys. It's not just about getting free information, all right? It's about really you understanding where you're at and what's going on and the fact that you may need legal help. And that's when you hire the attorneys at PPID. The number once again, 844-774-3529. I'm gonna flip it back over to Fred DeSico and see if there's if there's anything else that he'd like to expand on in reference to his capacity, Fred. I do. Um, many of your listeners, I'm sure, own their own homes. The moratorium that was put out by the government also prevents any foreclosure proceedings on your mortgages. The extension of the moratorium is something that you should use and you should speak to your bank in terms of getting a waiver of your monthly payments to your bank. I have helped clients even in situations where the loans weren't mortgages in getting the banks to waive the payments or add the payments to the end of the mortgage term. In particular, I have a, a client who owns a bar restaurant in Manhattan and he couldn't have people in his restaurant because of the moratorium and he didn't have a lot of outdoor space. He had mortgages on his business loans that he took out from the bank. He couldn't pay them. We were able to negotiate four extensions of his three separate loans, two of them to the back of the, uh, of the term and one the bank is doing it month to month, but we're gonna be there for him and ultimately, when we get back to normal and squeeze, Adam, we are going to get back to normal. The virus is going to eventually disappear. Yep. No virus in history has lasted forever. We will survive this. We will overcome this. And when we do, when we do, then we can speak with our lenders about making a payment schedule. So for those of you who own your own home, who, are, who whose tenants can't pay the rent, or they can only pay half rent, or you have a business and you're, you're a restaurant or a food service business and you can't operate, talk to me, give me a call. I'm happy to give you the advice you need. And I'm happy to help all of us get through this difficult time. Um, it's unfortunate 
It's something that none of us could have ever imagined in our lifetimes, but it's here. And, um, you know, we're New Yorkers, we're, we're, we're resilient people. And I'm here to help. Fred DeSico, partner at the firm, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac and DeSico. Ladies and gentlemen, call him now. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-PPID-LAW. Well put, well said. Thank you so much, Fred. I do believe that you're needed here at least every other week, not every week. Absolutely. Right. We, we, we need him on more. Uh, Especially with what's going on. hundred uh, percent. Plus, I enjoy, I, enjoy, I enjoy working with him. I enjoy seeing him. So let's get him oh, on. You me, Adam. That's what you're talking about. I was waiting for the invitation. <laughs> I, I was worried that maybe the last time I was on, I didn't have good ratings. And I... You know, I was wondering, you know, what I might be able to do to get another invitation. Actually, I don't know. I think we're hot today. How many viewers we got right now, Squeeze? Uh, uh, I would have to, I would have to actually, it would have to be ended first before I can yeah. give you that. No, we don't want to end it, but I am happy to be here, guys. And, you know, look, we're a full service firm. Right. Not to take away what Adam does and what Conrad does and, and many of, of your listeners need what they have to say, need to know what they have to say, but you know, we have other other areas that can help our communities. And I'm one of the attorneys and my group is here also. And, you know, it's just important to know that you can come to our firm and get full service, full service. And that's important. Definitely. Um, listen, this has been a great show. Um, Fred, I, I can honestly tell you there's a lot that, you know, people are going through out there and they don't, they don't have the foggiest idea where to turn and what to do. And because of culture, like I'm speaking of my own culture, um, we have been led to believe that we can handle it ourselves. Or we've been led to believe that we should not seek help where the courts or an attorney is concerned. Yeah, well, but Squeeze, but, if, I, if I can just interject, you know, I've been you know, serving the Caribbean community for over 15 years. And a lot of times people will just, I, I find that, you know, immigrants that don't know where to turn, Right. I think ignoring the problem, it's going to go away. Yeah. You know, I hear this. Uh, I'm just going to pray on it. It's going to be fine. Right. That right. yes, yes, right. that is important part of 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 life. You know, you you want to have faith and and know things are going to turn out well. But you cannot just ignore it. I have clients that call. I want to help those who help yeah, themselves. I, I, I'm in collection. Yeah. So what did yeah. you do with all the bills that came to you? Yeah. Well, I just figured you know it would go away. No, it is not going not away. away. Problems don't go away here in the United States. You need guidance. You need an attorney like Fred and his team that are going to make sure that you understand the process and make sure that your interests are protected. Nobody, nobody, nobody I know is going to protect your interests the way Fred DeSico does. It's just not going to happen. Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, great show, fabulous show. And Adam Handler, let's not forget, man, that you are the multi-million dollar man. You're the $125 million man. I don't know of any other attorney that has come anywhere even close to what you have done for the Caribbean people on 93.5 FM or even in the tri-state area where consistency is concerned. I call you the shark and I, I, I do that because I know how aggressive you can be with fighting for the people and you have done a magnificent job. So I say to everybody that's watching us on Facebook, share this, share this with every single person that you know, because I am 100% sure that one day they will need that legal help. And then they will need PPID. They will need Adam Handler, of course, for accident cases or personal injury. They will need Fred DeSico for any kind of business matter that you may have. They'll need, of course, Conrad Pollock, Nelson Madrid, okay, for immigration. They need uh, Greg Pinto for criminal defense. You got family law. It's a full service law firm, as Fred noted. And you should store the number in your phone. The number is 844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. And Fred, thanks for that tip the other day. We're setting up that corporation in Connecticut. All right. It worked out perfectly. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. It's not a game. You know, you, you've got to have these attorneys in your phone. 844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. Adam Handler, Fred DeSico, thank you so much. I know prior results do not guarantee similar outcome, but listen, they need to have your number, 844-PPID-LAW. Thank you both so much.
and have yourself an amazing day, listeners. And Thank you. you. Always great speaking with you. Thank you. Thanks, Adam, Thanks, I'll see you in a few minutes. I can't wait.